Sometimes we are, are tasked to um, make working solutions from stock solutions and if everything is given in the same units then it's pretty straightforward because we can use the equation C1 V1. So C1 C1 V1 equals C2 V2. However, sometimes we run into problems when the units are uh, not the same. So we have to do a little bit of conversion. So in this case here, we need to make a, a working solution with a given concentration. That's our given concentration. So that's 0 0.002 milligram per milliliter. And uh, we have a stock solution of 200 micromolar. So we have 200 times 10 to the minus 6 mole per liter. And what we see is that our concentrations, the concentration of the working solution and the concentration of the stock solution are in different units. Here we have milligram per milliliter and here we have mole per liter. So we need to convert that and for that we also need the molecular mass. So uh, we can do it either way. We can convert the milligram per milliliter into mole per liter or we can do the mole per liter into milligram per milliliter. And because we have got milligram per milliliter, we can cancel out the milli. Uh, so we can, instead of 0 0.002 uh, milligram per milliliter, we can, because we can cancel the milli, we can write that this is 0 0.002 gram per liter. That makes life a little bit easier uh, because we've got everything in the same unit. So let's say we are converting the, uh, uh, the mole per liter into gram per liter. And what we're looking for is just simply the gram per liter. That's our unit that we're looking for. And um, what we can say, okay, do we have any uh, grams anywhere? So we have here 500 grams per mole. So 500 gram per mole. Now we've got the grams in the right uh, place. That's good, but we have the mole. And now we need to uh, do something with the mole so that it cancels out. Do we have mole anywhere? Yes, we've got the mole here. So all we need to do is multiply that by 200 times 10 to the minus 6 mole per liter. What we find is that the mole cancel out and we've got the unit of gram per liter. That's the gram per liter that we want. So our, our um, stock solution instead of 200 micromolar we can write this as 500 times 200 times 10 to the minus 6 gram per liter. So that's our stock solution and of course uh, we can write this a little bit nicer so that would give us if we put that in the calculator that would give us a 0 0.1 gram per liter stock solution. And we want our working solution to be working solution to be 0 0.002 gram. And what we can do now is we can calculate a dilution factor. Dilution factor. And uh, all we need to do is uh, we just simply say our uh, concentration, concentration of the stock divided by the concentration of the working solution. So that would be 0 0.1 gram per liter divided by 0 0.002 gram per liter we see that the grams per liter cancel out. And all we have to do is we have to calculate 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.002. Now I'll just quickly go over to my calculator. 
So 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.002. And that gives us a dilution factor of 50. So here the dilution factor is 50. So we have to dilute our stock solution 50 times or by factor 50. So dilute, dilute stock by factor 50 uh, to get the desired working solution. So really here the trick is to convert the units so that they are equivalent uh, and then you can just simply calculate a dilution factor uh, with this equation stock concentration of stock divided by concentration of the work.